The tough part is earning the first million. It's a commitment, sacrifice, and a belief in yourself that you can do it. You'll meet plenty of doubters and naysayers along the way and you'll want to prove to them that you did it. For inspiration, we've got background on how these 15 billionaires made their first million. Number 1. Evan Spiegel made his first million through Snapchat. Evan Thomas Spiegel became a millionaire when he was 23 years old. Two years later, he was named the youngest billionaire in the world. He's the co-founder and CEO of the American social media company Snap Inc. He, along with Bobby Murphy and Reggie Brown, started the camera and social media company in 2011 and are responsible for Snapchat, Spectacles, and Bitmoji. The 30-year-old businessman married Miranda Kerr and have two children today. His net worth is $9.6 billion. Spiegel was a high school dropout, and in our video, 15 Things You Get Wrong About Wealth, we highlighted the fact that you don't need a formal education to accumulate wealth, and Spiegel is a perfect example. Number 2. Mohed Altrad Was In The Scaffolding Business Mohed Altrad owns the Montpellier Haro Rugby Club, but before that, Altrad was in the rather unglamorous business of scaffolding. After being orphaned at four years old, he was raised by his grandmother and attended school despite his grandmother's disapproval. He did well and earned himself a scholarship to study in France, where he graduated with a PhD in computer science. In 1985, he bought a bankrupt scaffolding manufacturer in France. Not exactly a sure win, but Altrad turned it into gold. Currently, he has a net worth of $3.4 billion. The Altrad Group is worth $4 billion in sales and provides construction services globally. Number 3. Carlos Slim Made His First Million Through Real Estate from 2010 to 2013, Carlos Slim Helu was named the richest person in the world by Forbes. This Mexican-based business person, investor, and philanthropist currently has a net worth of $65 billion according to Forbes' latest lists. The stars of business aligned early on for Carlos Slim when he made his first million at the age of 25 through real estate investments in 1965. After that, Carlos has ventured into many industries under his holdings conglomerate Grupo Carso. Most notably, his interests lie in telecommunications, and the dividends don't lie. Number 4. Jack Cowan Made His First Million With Crispy Chicken How much fried chicken do you think you need to sell to make a cool million in personal wealth? Well, Jack Cowan would know. He's the man who brought KFC, Burger King, and Domino's Pizza to Australia after he had worked in Canada and noticed the growing interest in fast food in Australia while on holiday. In the late 1960s, at 26 years old, he bought the right to open 10 KFC franchises in Western Australia. He raised funds by finding 30 Canadian investors to each invest 10,000 Canadian dollars. And in December 1969, he opened his first KFC. The investment has netted him a personal worth of $3.3 billion. And it wasn't just himself that Jack Cowan made rich. In March 2006, those initial 10,000 Canadian dollar investments were worth 6.7 million US dollars. Number 5. Sarah Blakely made her first million through Spanx. Who knew just how much the world would pay to hide their bulge? Well, Sarah Blakely has the billion dollar bank account to show that it was a lot. By the age of 29, Sarah had only been running Spanx for a year when she was already listed as a millionaire selling her tummy tucking underwear. Since then, she's expanded, selling waistline decreasing garments into leggings and other intimate apparel and has amassed a net worth of $1 billion. What's more impressive is she was named the youngest self-made woman billionaire at the age of 41. And Spanx wearers everywhere are grateful she took the risk. Number 6. Sergei Galitsky Made His First Million Through Distribution With a net worth of $3.5 billion, Galitsky knows his food. He's the founder and former CEO of Magnet, the largest food retailer and non-state employer in Russia. He's since sold the company to state-owned VTB Bank. He also founded the Russian soccer team FC Kronsnodar. It was his wholesale perfume and cosmetics business, Transasia, that put him on the map. Transasia got the exclusive rights to distribute Procter & Gamble products in southern Russia. Since he sold the company, he wants to spend his money in the city. He plans to plant 2,500 trees in the park near his soccer stadium. 
Number 7. Shu Kunfei made her first million developing glass screens for mobile phones. This self-made millionaire had her first million when she was just 33. When her company Lens Technology went public, she accumulated wealth quickly. Kunfei is officially the wealthiest woman in China, with a net worth of $12.7 billion. Originally, she produced watch faces, and Motorola approached her to develop glass screens for their Razer V3, which was the first time phones were changing from plastic to glass screens. HTC, Nokia, Huawei, Samsung, and Apple all use her glass, and she has a staff of 90,000 helping her to make the company the success it is today. Number 8. Kim byung soo made his first million through computer games. Meet the founder of South Korean internet company Kakao, Kim byung soo Kakao operates a mobile messenger service called Kakao Talk, used by 95% of Koreans. They also operate search engine Daum and music streaming service Melon. His net worth is $7.3 billion. He grew up dirt poor and paid his way through college by giving private tutoring and skipped meals to save a little extra. He loves video games, and it was this passion that had him begin the country's first online game portal called Han Game Communications, which was followed up by Kakao. Han Game Communications netted him his first mill. Number 9. George Lucas made his first million through Star Wars. It's a year that George Lucas will never forget, 1978. He was 34 and became a millionaire. Lucas is the creator of Star Wars, thank you, and by the time he was 52, he was a billionaire. If you look at his credentials, there aren't many. Lucas has only directed six feature films, four of them being Star Wars. So how did he manage to make his first million and then billion? Well, it's all thanks to an idea he had in 1973. After the success of American Graffiti, he was offered a 300% pay raise to direct Star Wars. He declined the raise in exchange for two things. One, he retains merchandising rights. And two, he retains the rights to any sequels. Both were agreed to because nobody thought the movie would even survive the first round. Well, joke's on them because he's now worth $7.2 billion, and it's the merchandise he can thank for his first and every million since. Number 10. Dalip Shangvi made his first million with medicine. Indian billionaire businessman Dilip Shangvi is the founder of Sun Pharmaceuticals. With a net worth of $8.7 billion, his first million must seem like a distant memory. When he started Sun Pharma, he was treating psychiatry ailments. Today, it's the largest chronic prescription company in India. They're leading in the fields of psychiatry, neurology, cardiology, orthopedics, ophthalmology, gastroenterology, and nephrology. There have been various acquisitions, mergers, and changes along the way, but it's through Shangvi's vision to develop his own drugs that he became a self-made millionaire and then billionaire. Number 11. Meg Whitman, Self-Made Millionaire Whitman was 40 when she made her first million, and two years later she was worth more than one billion. She's the former CEO of eBay, and her net worth hit the billion dollar mark when she made the company public. This powerful woman is an American business executive, former political candidate, and philanthropist. She can add boardroom member of Procter & Gamble and Dropbox to her resume, and former CEO and president of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Her resume has other enviable jobs, including the global management and marketing of Play School and Mr. Potato Head. She's been involved with several incredible company transformations, but eBay is the most noteworthy. It's thanks to Whitman that eBay went from 30 employees and $4 million in revenue in 1998 to 15,000 employees and revenue of $8 billion during her time as CEO. Her millions quickly grew to $5.9 billion, which is her current net worth. Number 12. Peter Stordalen made his first million connecting three shopping centers. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but by completing this mammoth project, he proved to many doubters that he was capable of much more. The Norwegian businessman had a project in Trondheim to connect three malls, and nobody believed he could do it. He proved them wrong and made a million from the assignment. Stordalen is a hotel and property developer and self-proclaimed environmentalist. He owns the corporate group Strawberry, which consists of 10 companies involved in real estate, hotels, and art. He currently is worth $1.3 billion, and we stand behind him when he says, 
What is good for society is also good for business. Number 13. Denise Coates sold betting shops to Coral to make her first million. She's the wealthiest woman in the UK and the only female billionaire. Denise Coates became a millionaire when she was 38 and a billionaire when she was 47. How did she make her first million? It does help to have a foot in the door as her father owned a chain of betting shops and was the majority shareholder of Stoke City FC, although that came in Denise's early 20s. As a teenager, she worked in the family business, marking up bets in the cashier's department. She later got a degree in economics. At one point, the business was struggling so her dad offered her the position of MD. She accepted and grew the chain and profit sustainably. Fast forward a few years, her and her brother John bought the website bet365.com, and the rest you could say is history. Today, Denise is worth $6.4 billion. Number 14. Chip Wilson made his first million with sports apparel. Lululemon Athletica is all thanks to Chip Wilson, the founder and former CEO of the athletic clothing company. He's the founder of West Beach and is involved with Kit and Ace, specializing in technical casual wear. His mom was a seamstress, and he found his passion for clothing through her. He opened West Beach Snowboard in 1979, selling clothing for surfers, skaters, and snowboarders. Chip made his first million through his brand and eventually sold West Beach in 1997 for $2.45 million. Today, Chip is worth $5.1 billion. He's still a shareholder in Lululemon. He's involved with Hold It All, has stakes in Armor Sports and Anta Sports. Wilson has also been known for controversy, like when customers complained about their pants pilling. His response was, frankly, some women's bodies just don't actually work for it. Number 15. Melanie Perkins made her first million through Canva. No was a word Melanie Perkins was used to hearing. She heard it a hundred times. It didn't stop her, though, from pursuing her dream. She always had an entrepreneurial spirit. At 14, she was designing scarves to sell in her hometown of Perth. At 22, she founded Fusion Books. It was an online system that allowed schools to design their yearbooks. The company was so successful that it's now the largest yearbook publisher in Australia. In 2013, Canva was launched. She had the idea since she was 19 and wanted to create an all-in-one platform that was easy to use and accessible to everyone. Today, she's the CEO of Canva, which has over 10 million registered users from 190 different countries. It's available in 100 languages and was valued at $1 billion in 2018. Her advice is solve customer problems and make sure the customer is representative of a large market, and then you'll have a pretty good formula. So Aluxers, who do you draw your financial inspiration from? We'd love to hear about it in the comments. And of course, you stuck with us until the end. Here's your bonus. Take inspiration that you can earn your first million far sooner than you think. Fraser Doherty was only 14 when he started making homemade jams using his grandmother's recipes. By the time he was 16, he had a booming little business called Super Jam. A major UK supermarket began to stock his product. He took out a $9,000 loan, and it wasn't long before he was a millionaire. Thanks for spending some time with us, Aluxers. We're so glad you joined us today. Leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.